Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We're also going to be using Chaz Davies livery in Ride 4 here today, here in Portimao in a very damp track which I do believe will dry out and shout out to Johnny Glamour there in 10th place, if you know, you know. But this video is all going to be about Chaz Davies of course announcing his retirement from World Superbike, the man from Night in Wales has finally decided to call his career quits and honestly for me I'm disappointed because I really like Chaz Davies and it's going to be a damn shame to not have him in the uh, paddock for next season of course. The man on board the Go 11 Ducati Panigale V4R has been lovingly created here today from Sergio, of course a regular ace in our Discord server and uh, our subscriber community in general. So of course shout out to Sergio23, absolute legend amongst us with making liveries, uh, clearly an editor with a desire to make perfection in the Ride 4. So if you want to check out his liveries, of course if you're on PC, check him out on uh, his name by just Sergio23 as it's been absolute carnage. I thought I'd seen something in the corner of my eyes there just going into the Samsung corner but of course I will be showing a better look of this bike in towards the end of the video so if you want to get a better look and you want to see how well he's depicted it in the video game form check it out later on as we get oh massive contact there with Patrick Holmes that was a bit of a mistake coming in from uh, Chaz Davies metaphorical uh, quotation marks there but uh, honestly guys Chaz Davies 32 wins 99 podiums out of 263 appearances. One heck of a superbike career. Honestly, really, really brilliant. It's a shame we never got that ultimate performance from Chaz Davies. And it's just sad to say that he hasn't got that 100th podium as well. He really deserves it. It's like the Rossi situation in MotoGP. Stuck on 199 podiums. Gotta get these two men another podium by the end of the season, I swear. But honestly, it's a shame that Charles Davies is going to retire. I think he's a fantastic rider. And some of the battles between him and Johnny Ray have been absolutely sensational over the years. So major props to Charles Davies and thank you for everything, I guess. But today's video, just a bit of a something. A bit of something different as well, actually, because, of course, I really like featuring Sergio's liveries. And, of course, if you are a fan of making liveries and you're on PC, come and join the Discord server, share your creations, and give us a chance to use them in the game. Because, of course, I'm happy to make a video on anyone's liveries. If you want me to use it, of course, and I have your permission, let me know in the comments section down below. Or even better still, why not join our Discord server? Discord server is a great place to come and chat to me and other aces as well. We're a very friendly community with a lot of good eggs in there as well. So I would highly recommend you jump on board and join the Discord server. But as far as the race goes so far, not too bad. <laughs> we made a couple of mistakes. We did go wide into turn one. I'm still finding it a little bit difficult to control the motorcycles in ride four. I still use them as if I was playing MotoGP. So I never go hard on the brakes compared to what I do on MotoGP because I feel like if I brake a little bit too much, the bike's just going to endo. I didn't run any traction control in this one either. I wanted to get the feeling back with ride four because the traction on ride four is a little bit sharper than it is in MotoGP, unless you're playing Moto E or Moto 2 maybe. But um, I had to really sort of dig down deep to make sure I could ride properly in this video because I don't know if you know this but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist if the video doesn't look great and my riding isn't very good I probably will delete the video and then redo it because <laughs> I hate it I hate it when it looks awful you know if it looks like really messy I'm bumping into every other ride from just crashing into people to overtake I hate that I'd have to restart and do the whole thing again I guess sometimes that's annoying for me but it makes better content for you guys and that's all that really matters to me as far as I'm concerned as we go into turn 14 for the second time of asking look at the power that we're going to get out of this Ducati in a minute oh my god look at the acceleration absolutely wonderful it's so good in this game it's way overpowered the Ducati Panigale V4R is just the best it's ever been in ride 4 of course it's just amazing now it's very similar to what it was like when Elvaro Bautista was on it just completely way quicker than everyone else as far as I'm concerned but we go into Lagos and we have a bit of a British 3-4 there with a number one as well. Arthur Thompson is leading the way with Lars Bratsov, Patrick Holmes and Dr. Race in pursuit of that third position of course. But we'll go into the Tour VIP. Not quite strong enough on the brakes. We might be able to go around the outside. Not really a place to do it. Not more to a Ducati Panigale V4R of course. But of course we'll continue to push no matter what. That's our motto here on this channel. Keep on pushing every time you're going for that elusive lap time that just can't see. Oh, it's carnage! Arthur Thompson has dropped the front going into the Samsung corner or just before it. A premature entry into Samsung, laying his Ducati down onto the floor, which we will not see him again in this Grand Prix. Massive blunder there for the British rider who was leading this Grand Prix. What on earth has just happened there? Patrick Holmes, he slammed the brakes in the middle. Oh, my God. 
what on earth happened? <laughs> I said about making this video if I would restart it if things went south like that, and I guess I should. But oh my goodness, what on earth happened? Am I to am I to be blamed for that? That looked like he just crashed. It looked like he just stopped in the middle of the track. How did we not crash? More questions than answers there, ladies and gentlemen. No idea what the hell just happened, and there's not really much I can do about it now. All we need to do is chase down Lars Bratsov with these rain tyres on this drying track. We have to be very careful here, because I could end up throwing this one away. And we certainly don't want to do that. Not when Sergio has slaved over making this wonderful livery, and for me to then bin it going into a corner here and port him out. Not going to happen. Not today. So across the line we went with a new fastest lap of 146.903. Pretty good lap time so far. Of course the track is drying all the time. We've made another mistake going into the prime era corner for turn one. Whoa, massive moment. Whoa, the tyres really gripped onto the tarmac then and wanted to throw me off. But we hung on for dear life. Goodness me, that was going to come to an end very, very abruptly there if we weren't careful. So we now get onto the left hand side going into turn four. Bring on the acceleration, bring on the power. Can we get on through on Lars Bratsov going into the left hander for the Tor VIP? Getting in my way a little bit there. The defensive posture and position for Lars Bratsov is making things difficult for this uh, open quotation marks again, Chas Davies. Of course, it's just me, but still close enough in the video game form because we don't have a World Superbike game yet. I keep saying yet because you never know. I will always, always live in hope that we'll get a World Superbike game once again. But now that weird wheelie glitch that keeps happening to me. I get a random glitch every now and again where the wheels just go up straight in the air. Oh, massive contact! Adriano Torres! No, it's lad. What has just happened? Lars Bratsov, you absolute buffoon! You pillock! What have you just done that for? That has completely scuppered our race and this could possibly end my winning streak that's spanned for quite a while if we don't count the live stream which I crashed on. Ignore that one. I can't believe it was happened. I thought it was Adriano Torres, but it was Lars Bratsov, wasn't it? What on earth was he playing at then? Now the pressure's really on. I've got a, I've got a spicy meatball thing cooking in the microwave right now. I need to hurry up and get this job done because we've only got a lap and a half to chase down Adriano Torres, who is now leading this Grand Prix in his home Grand Prix here in Portimao, Portugal. So we need to fight back. Lou Chabrano ahead of us, the Frenchman. He's not going to stand a chance when we bring on the acceleration of the Ducati Panigale V4R. And look at it go now. Oh, look at the acceleration. 180 miles an hour. It's going to well reach 200 before we hit the brakes, possibly. Ooh, 199. Look how much rear brake we are using right into the rear of Arthur Thompson. Don't forget, Arthur Thompson binned it early on in this race. He threw it away going into the Samsung corner, and he's still there in second position. What a gift to the man on board the... I didn't even see what bike it was. I think it was the Massimo Tamburini. I, I was trying to see it, but unfortunately, it's just eluded me. So now it's a 1.8 seconds to Adriano Torres. Can we spoil the home cooking? Hopefully my home cooking won't get spoiled, because I'm looking forward to the spicy meatballs thing. It looks pretty tasty, to be fair. But right now, off topic, back to the, the action unfolding, which is, of course, Ride 4, Chas Davies tackling it out with this uh, Adriano Torres in his home Grand Prix. I think we can chase him down. One second is the gap as we go into the right-hander of Samsung. But let me be honest with you guys. These tyres do not feel good. They are really really slippy on this track right now of course the track is dry as we go into the Craig Jones corner one of the difficult corners here in Portimao in fact all the corners here in Portimao are very difficult one of the best tracks in the game that sadly didn't just make it to my top 10 somehow but never mind <laughs> we'll focus on the Grand Prix as it stands because Adriano Torres prepare to be beaten my friend it's going to happen sooner or later can we go over the inside going into the right hand of Sagresh is it going to be enough it's not going to be close enough Adriano Torres hanging on firm. Those Alpine Stars boots working overtime for both men right now. Can we go around the outside of Adriano? Not going to happen here. Torres holding firm. But you better believe when we bring on that throttle, I have a very comfortable right index finger to pushing the trigger. And here it goes. Full acceleration. Full tuck in. Full slipstream. And that is going to be it. Victory for Dr. Ace here today in Portimao using the Chas Davis livery made by Sergio23. So how about that one then, guys? An interesting race, to say the least. I wasn't expecting a battle to be so fierce. And also the carnage that happened midway through that Grand Prix, or at least on the penultimate lap, courtesy of uh, Lars Bratzorf, the German, of course. 
But now let's have a look at the actual livery itself. We can have a better look at it and you can have a bit of a spin around to see how well Sergio has done creating this livery. Honestly, fantastic job as always, mate. Big thank you to making that. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to share me your liveries on PC, let me know. Get in touch and I will cover your liveries on the videos. So upon that note, guys, thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted to every single Doctor Race upload and live stream. Thanks for watching guys, it's been a pleasure, and I will see you next time. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.